thinks Jenny recently attended a wedding and her choice of attire has set off a surprising debate online. Fans and netizens are divided over her outfit, with some questioning whether it was festive enough for a wedding and others praising her for adhering to Korean wedding traditions. Jenny attended the event dressed in a chic, understated black outfit that aligned with typical attire seen at weddings in South Korea. In Korean wedding culture, guests often wear darker, neutral colors such as black to avoid drawing attention away from the bride who traditionally wears white. This custom emphasizes respect and keeps the focus solely on the bride, ensuring she stands out on her special day. However, when images of Jenny's attire made their way online, international fans expressed mixed reactions. Many unfamiliar with Korean wedding customs found the dress code surprisingly formal, some even describing it as more suitable for a business setting than a wedding celebration. Comments included reactions like, Korean weddings look like corporate events and why do all the guests wear black? It's so different from what we're used to see at weddings. On Korean social media platforms, however, local netizens were quick to defend Jenny's attire, emphasizing the cultural importance of wearing neutral tones at weddings. They explained that bright or colorful attire, while common in other cultures, could be perceived as distracting or even disrespectful in a Korean wedding context. This is a way of showing respect to the bride. The contrasting perspectives have highlighted cultural differences and sparked discussions about the importance of respecting local customs, especially at culturally significant events. Some Korean netizens expressed frustration with the criticism, su suggesting that netizens should understand and appreciate the traditions of the country they are in. What's your take? Do you believe it's essential to respect local customs when attending events like weddings, or should personal style be a priority?